Hi, my name is Nathan Florsheim, and I am a photo and video instructor at the Evanston Art Center. Thanks to the Philip and Edith Leonian Foundation, we are able to present you with a series of video tutorials to help you with your photography process at home. In this video, we'll be going over how to resize and resample your image using Adobe Photoshop. First, you'll want to navigate up to the Image tab at the top of your screen, and you're going to want to choose Image Size. Once we have the image size window open, there's a few key things to note. First of all, it'll show you your width and height of your image, and that along with the resolution is what is the current actual size of your image. You can change inches to other forms of measurement, such as pixels, but typically I keep it in inches as on the top area of the screen under dimensions. It always will list the pixels. Above that, you can see the actual current file size under image size. This is helpful, especially if you are resizing your image in order to make it a smaller file size. I often do this if I need to email a file and it's too large, or if I'm submitting some photographs to something online and they have specific requirements of what each file size has to be. Now, something that is very important to know about is this resample option near the bottom of the window. Right now it is checked, which means if I change the width or the height or the resolution of my image, it'll actually permanently alter the number of pixels or the overall resolution of the image. So if I were to make it smaller, the image will permanently be resampled to a smaller size. And if I make it bigger, it'll permanently be resampled to a bigger size. I really only use the resample box to make images smaller. And like I said earlier, if you're submitting something and it says it has to be 2000 pixels or a resolution of 200, you will need to resample your image to make sure it fits those requirements. I rarely, if ever, use the resampling to make my image bigger than it is because it will actually be adding in pixels and trying to copy and duplicate things to make it bigger than it is. And oftentimes that can result in some strange digital artifacts or pixelization in your image. So when that box is checked, you are resampling your image. And when you uncheck it, you are just resizing your image. So as you can see, when I adjust the width here, the resolution changes in accordance to it. So as I make the image smaller, the resolution gets bigger, or if I make the image bigger, the resolution gets smaller. But you can notice under dimensions, the pixels are never changing when I'm doing this. The reason for this is because when you're resizing, not resampling your image, the actual number of pixels is never changing. The only thing that's changing is how densely packed they are. So if you have a really, really small size, like five inches, the resolution will be very high, meaning there'll be a lot of pixels in a small space. If you were to have a very large image, like 24 by 30, then those pixels will be more spread out across a large space. If I were submitting some of my photographs to something that required, say, an image that is a resolution of 300, so the longest side will be 3000 pixels, I will want to check that resample box. I would change the width to 10 and the resolution to 300. And you can see up at the top under dimensions, now the longest side of the image is 3000 pixels. If it was 2000, I would just change that resolution to 200 and keep the width to 10, and it'll be 2000 pixels on the longest side. You can see that if I go and increase the resolution quite a bit, that the image size gets much, much bigger when I'm resampling. And that's because when you are resampling and making it larger, Photoshop is actually adding more pixels and creating new pixels to match the image. And so more information is added. As mentioned earlier, when you do increase the size of a file through resampling, you can get some digital distortion and pixelization. So I refrain from doing that and typically just work within the actual size of the image and only resample to make my image size smaller. You can also change how Photoshop resamples the file or how it interpolates the pixels. And since I am really only using resampling to make the image smaller, I keep it on by cubic sharper reduction. And that is because as the file size gets smaller, this specific mode will ensure that the image gets sharper and sharper and it prioritizes that. When you do resample an image, because it is actually changing the file itself and adjusting the pixels and resolution permanently, I always do a save as rather than just saving over the original. That way when I save it, if I'm making the file size smaller, I can have the original large size and then also have one that is titled so the same title with smaller at the end of it. I would do the same thing if I did make something bigger, although I rarely do. 
That's all for this video on how to resize your files using Photoshop. I hope it was helpful and that you're able to incorporate this into your workflow at home. Once again, we would like to thank the Philip and Edith Leonian Foundation for providing the funding to make these videos possible. Stay tuned for more videos covering Photoshop, other editing softwares, and camera tips and tricks. Thanks.